Collins along with the 2013 Honda Cup winner, Kehlani Ricketts from the University of Oklahoma. Kehlani, congratulations. You win a national championship with your team, but now the Honda Cup joining a, an impressive list over the last uh, almost 40 years of, of student athletes who have achieved this honor. What does it mean to you to be a part of this group? Um, you know, it's an honor, and I'm very grateful just to be in great company. And I know that the last winners were of softball were Lisa Fernandez and Natasha Watley. So, you know, those are the greats of softball that we all know who they are. And they've just made a name for, for our sport. And just to be able to represent for the collegiate female athletes, it's amazing. And I'm so happy and to be able to get this opportunity to come here. First of all, I just would like to thank Honda for sponsoring this event. and the CWSA for just really appreciating us as collegiate female athletes. You know, I know I speak for all of us that, you know, it's an honor to be here and we really do feel appreciated. So thank you so much for putting this on for us. And we've had a blast so far. And, and also just congratulations to all the recipients that are here. And I know that each one of them are very deserving of this Honda Cup just because everyone's had amazing seasons. You know, listening to all of their seasons and credentials that they've achieved, it's been awesome to be able to experience this with them. So thank you for having me here. <laughs> I guess it's just so, it's easy to overcome adversity when you have teammates around you that love playing with you and just family that's very supportive and a coach that loves you on and off the field and you know it's just, it's easy to just have a positive mindset with people that really care about you and just to help you stay determined and to keep getting better. I guess just being here with these girls you know they've all they've reached the highest level of, the, of college and just they're player of the year for all their sports and for their divisions and they're able to inspire people and just being able to hang out with them, they're just normal girls. They're, we see them up in the spotlight, but they're, they're all very nice and genuine, but also very athletic and are very talented. So it's cool to see how the all-around picture of them and be able to hang out with them off the field. I think it's just really cool to be able to represent my school and my state as well, just because you know I, I would not be up here without them and just the type of support that we get from Oklahoma and the type of love it motivates you to want to be able to be prideful to be from that state and to be able to use the stage that we use for softball to be able to represent them well. You know, I, I was always taller and stronger than the girls in my sport, so I just didn't really have confidence in myself. I just wanted to go out there and have fun and just play the sport that I love, but when I was about 16, I decided to make a commitment to want to be the best pitcher in my, at my level and I just wanted to work harder than anyone out there and I, and I told myself that someone else could be working harder than me and so I wanted to work harder than anyone out there and I committed to that. I think the biggest commitment is just being able to love the sport that you're playing. You know, If you don't love it then you're not going to be able to push yourself throughout the day and throughout the entire year. You know, that, That's what motivates you is just that you love the game and you want to keep getting better at it. Zone, how I get there is just um, the determination I want to win and you know when, when I'm there I have all the confidence in the world and I just tell myself that no one's going to beat me and no one's going to stop me. Um, I think the coolest moment for me was when they announced that I won the award. Lisa Fernandez <laughs> was the first one that stood up and she was giving me a standing ovation first and she didn't sit down. and. It was cool just because she's arguably the best woman to ever play softball and you know she's just that big name that we all aspire to be like and the fact that she was staying up and giving me that respect was amazing. You know it's just one of the best teams I've ever been on on and off the field and I'll remember the team just because of the memories I had with them in the locker room and going to games but and also just how they had my back as just supporting me on the mound and when I wasn't on the mound as well it's just been a great team experience.